Hey there YouTube friends, Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always appreciate it. We are back in Parkitect today, in case the uh, seven and a half minutes of time lapse didn't cue you in on that one. Uh, glad to be back in Parkitect. If you're excited for Parkitect, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we finally have a coaster here in Parkitect. Take a look, it's a hyper coaster. It's new to the newest beta as far as I know and I kind of love it. It's not. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty solid. It, it might be my favorite coaster I've ever made in Parkitect. I kind of dig this little pretzel turnaround thing. I don't think that's a real element, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So I love it. I'm, I'm really a big fan of how it turned out. I think it's nice how it hugs the, uh, the uh, border of the park here. And as I build the road, we can add some things here to make it really kind of pop. I think that'd be really kind of cool. Final helixy type maneuver into the brake run. We can add a transfer track. I love it. I really like where this is going. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to get rid of the soundtrack. And this is um the current build where we're at here in the most recent episode. You'll notice this building is complete. My humblest of apologies, my time lapse. Um simple story, forgot to push record. <laughs> I got the outline of the building, but forgot to push record during the detailing. I'd like to save that for last. We'll go over that last along with the coaster. Uh, let's take a look over here. We did some backstage work today, um, or last time I played. I'm actually, uh, behind the curtain, I'm actually recording this almost a week after I did the time lapse portion, so apologies if I forget to talk about some things that um, are in the time lapse. I did rewatch the time lapse though, so. Our deliveries building has a final home. I think it's going here. I think it's far enough away from the rest and we can cover it with trees and other things to make it fit in. And it fits in nice with the rest of the backstage area. It also means this is probably where I'm going to throw down, if I throw it up here, uh, a staff room. Um, I think, is this the, is this the, uh, what's the staff room? Oh, it's a restroom. Yeah, it's a place for staff to rest. We might throw a couple of them down here just to kind of show, like, this is the main backstage area. No, ah, they say foo when you plop it down. I like that. And we can also put our training room back here. That might not be such a bad idea either. Why don't we put the training room there? Yeah, I like that. And then they get their little break over here. So just, just a little something-something to show that, yeah, this is the main backstage area. Maybe we'll put some stuff in and kind of do like a mini staff parking area with an exit to the main road here. That might be kind of uh, kind of neat. I think that might be where we're headed next in this grand endeavor uh, that <laughs> that is this park. Extended the uh, garden, I guess we'll call it, this way a little bit. I do think we're reaching the point where the path is going to take a hard right. I threw in, oh, oh, the sound came back. I threw in the terrain here to show that we're heading towards the creek. Um, I'd actually probably like to drop it another layer. Like if I were to, to show you what that looked like, if I were to jump into here and just throw down, not throw down, if I were to do like Boop that, and then we can start just building this out a little bit. Like, I think I might do something a little bit like this. Um, I want this first layer to be pretty narrow, and then we'll have the creek, I think, sit in here. The namesake Cedar Creek. I think that would be good. And then we'll have it so it's not too, too terrible. I might, this is all just kind of random testing the waters, ah, pun. We're just kind of testing the waters here to see what we can see. Um, throw this this way, extend it a little bit. I, as you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm really clearly being ex <laughs> exceptionally careful with this. Um, so, oh, that was too big. <laughs> that was far too big. But I like the terrain tools in this game. I, uh, I mean, they're a little heavy handed in the amount in which you know, the minimum amount in which you can, you know, uh, extend your terrain, but ah, it's fine. I like it, it's fine, it, it does its job. And then if I were to go down one more, just, ugh. I think this might be where our creek is. I can put water in there. I could put water in there, but I really don't want it there. Can, oh, I could put it there. Nice! Now if I do this, is water gonna, oh. 
Nice. So this is where our uh, Cedar Creek is going to be. Now that I'm doing this, I guess I'm going to have to save this file. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, but I'll, I'll tweak it off camera. And then um, we'll have our established creek. Okay, it's a little bit bigger than the creek, but shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> we'll have our established creek for the next episode. That'll be good to have. And we can start going from there. Um, again, this is just a super duper rough layout of it. Like, this is too wide here. And I have to fiddle with it to get it, like, you know, a minimum width and all that kind of jazz. But for now, hopefully you'll be getting an idea of the uh, terrain in this park. It's fairly flat, except for the little part that descends down to the creek. And I think I might actually keep... Come on. There we go. I might actually keep this side of the terrain lower. I'm going to just keep it a little bit interesting. And also, we can uh, the bigger rides we add um, won't be so huge. Oh, granted, it's all from isometric view. But they wouldn't be so huge. Um, you'd have to walk downhill to get to them. So they wouldn't look so massive. There we go. So now we have our little creek um, in tow here. I like it. I think that'll be a nice, like natural borders like if we if we gave this park a history we'd say that it didn't extend past the river and then all of a sudden it just exploded so i kind of dig that um but let's take a look at this building now so we did a little bit more before we get to the building actually we did a little bit more to tidy up the carousel it now has a proper queue and an exit and we'll be adding some path covers to this in fact i could do that right now throw let me find the the correct there we go this basic square it's so basic On the Bro Nation Discord, they said that uh, <laughs> uh, IPAs are the are, are so basic. They're the spice pumpkin lattes for white guys. <laughs> so all of us that like IPAs, I guess we're basic. As I throw in my basic paths, <laughs> I do like I do like these paths. I uh, I'm I'm converted to the path. Um, covers now. I, I dig them, and we can do cool things with them later on. So so there you go. There's a little bit of how this is all shaping up. Still got the jank star in the Texas Plaza, but I don't mind it. So let's take a look at this building, which is kind of the emporium of the area. I think it sells gifts and balloons and some other things. So let's just take a quick peek -sies. You can see I played a little bit with different colors of path covers, but we've got this glass awning here, and the whole blue thing. I kind of dig that. The light blue on top with the dark blue on bottom. Oh, I forgot to add some. We need to do that. Let me let me see here. Hopefully, I can do that trim half. That'll work for me for now. Boop. Let's throw that in there. There we go. So you do get to see some actual, <laughs> some actual details on this building as I push the wrong buttons. There we go. So. Uh, you can see that it's very kind of modern looking, which I think fits the whole Cedar Fair vibe. Like maybe they came in and they salvaged a building or two or they said, OK, we'll care about this one. But this one, I always make this one modern. Like if um, parts of Cedar Point feel this way to me, like they have that that um, Pioneer Trail but then or like a themed area. But then there's so many that are just like semi modern. Like when they redid the entrance what Gatekeeper, it's so just square. <laughs> lacking detail and that's kind of what i wanted to do with this corner building is to be like yep it's a cedar fair park so we've got this very basic building here and they're not all going to be that way sometimes you'll reach you'll find more um you know more more themed buildings but sometimes you're going to have these just kind of eyesores and i'm not saying this building's ugly but it doesn't seem to fit the building next to it and i kind of like that actually I think as it's a building itself, it actually looks okay. So hopefully you agree, you like it. And we would say you'd come in through here, but because of the diagonal paths, there's no such thing as diagonal paths and the kind of wonky, I just added side entrances as well. It's supposed to be a fairly busy big shop, so multiple entrances seem to make sense for me. So uh, on the last thing on our adventure today is going to be the hypercoaster. I mean, I already kind of looked at it, but I need a good name for the hypercoaster, something generic something Cedar Fair-ish. Uh, my concern is, oh, we do have a chain. Okay, I was like, I don't see the chain on this, but there's definitely a chain there. 
I kind of dig the colors. I like this kind of slate gray blue with the brighter orange and yellow in the cars. I like that. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a hyper coaster. It's new with the new um, beta that came out a couple weeks. I think it's a couple weeks ago. We need to dress up the station. The station is going to be very Cedar Fairy. I'm thinking very generic, uh, just station cover with a long queue that's just, again, generic covered. Uh, theoretically, this would have replaced an older attraction and uh, then hugged some extra space they happen to have. That's kind of going to be the story I'm going to try to weave here as we continue to build this area. This coaster was uh, an addition to the park, and then it, you know, it, it replaced something much older. So I think that works. I think that makes sense. So yeah, it's a, like I said, it's pretty straightforward, but I, I really do like it. Uh, I don't have much experience with coasters in Parkitect. I don't have much experience with anything in Parkitect. I haven't played it all that much. But it's a fun, simple coaster editor. As long as you're not um, hell-bent on, on super realism, you can get some pretty nice results. Like I think this looks nice. It looks nice for a coaster. I mean, you could tell what it is. It doesn't seem ungodly realistic, but it obviously doesn't conform to industry standards all that well. I mean, it is, at the end of the day, a, you know, isometric view grid-based building system, so. But I like it. Uh, I need a name, and I suck at names. So if you can think of a good name, drop it in the comments below, and I will take it into consideration. No promises that I will indeed use your name. I'm getting some random flickering up here, and I don't like that. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe it's a graphic setting that I accidentally turned on. Oh, when I zoom in, it's not so bad, so. So there you go. That's kind of where we're at here at the park. Uh, in the next episode, I do want to fill this area in with some more shops or something. Maybe throw a ride over here. That might be nice. And then start building this way. We'll have most of this be the queue with some entrance and maybe a gift shop. Maybe we'll have an exit into a gift shop. That wouldn't be so bad. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're headed with this. We might head this way and we might head and fill in this area a little bit before we start trekking that way so hopefully uh you've enjoyed it's a little bit shorter again because i missed a big chunk of the time lapse when i was detailing that building but hopefully you've enjoyed and um as always you can expect architect about once a week here on the channel and if you've liked the uh, episode go ahead like i said earlier please hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the fun simulation management games we do on the channel so that's going to do it for me today for this episode of Parkitect. Uh, I do hope you have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see you guys and talk to you guys real soon. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.